Hi, we're Tom and Autumn. At the beginning of 2020, we both quit our jobs and planned to travel the world. We were going to work at our street food business in the summers and just enjoy being young for a while. We booked flights to India and said goodbye to our rented house in Tottenham. But then I think we all know what happened. With the virus spreading across the world and the repeated lockdowns, it started to become clear we wouldn't be traveling anytime soon. And so we decided to use our savings to buy a little house that needed a lot of work instead. We've currently been renovating for almost a year and we've done some good work. There's definitely been ups and a fair few downs and we're here to share our story. If you've been following us over the last couple of episodes, you'll know we got a bit of a dodgy carpenter who left us with a lot of work to fix. The good news is that we found a new carpenter who we love and this episode is filled with a lot more highs. I hope you enjoy and if you did want to follow along on our journey, please do hit the subscribe button. All right, let's get to it. The gift that just keeps giving, priming these spindles. If you saw a few weeks back, that was a weird thing to do. If you saw a few weeks back, I painted the spindles black for upstairs, but we just painted them black and we didn't prime them first. And they look pretty ashy, I guess the word is. There's kind of like a bit of a chalky finish. Um, the wood has obviously kind of soaked up all of the moisture from the paint and it's just not left the best finish. So when we decided that we were going to replace the spindles downstairs instead of stripping them, I went into why in our previous video. Um, we basically decided that obviously these ones we'd be priming first. So in what honestly feels like a repeat of a few weeks back, I've got one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 more spindles. And this time they need a prime and then they need a paint. So uh, prime today, paint tomorrow. The last time I did this, I did it with like a flapping motion and a massive brush. And uh, although it did work, um, I thought this time I'd give it a go just with these little sponges because they're so absorbent and I found it really easy to uh, work with them so far and actually I think it might be easier plus there'll be the benefit that my wrist and forearm aren't in absolute bits tomorrow. Maybe I'll go into the paintbrush afterwards just to deal with any bits that paint's gathered. Look who's back and has slept after his boys brunch. How would you describe your day today? A write off. Yeah. I've been in bed all day, so not good when we're trying to run out of house. I also ended up out last night and uh, Alexa, what's the time? The time is 6.47 p.m. It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. And we're just getting cracking on house stuff. We've spent the whole day in bed. I'm, I, I can't lie to you. But sometimes you need that. I think we work quite hard. Sometimes you just need a lazy day. And God knows we've had one. So I did prime all of these yesterday. They are nice and dry. I think they look pretty good if I do say so myself. But we have a carpenter coming, a new carpenter, obviously. Uh, on Tuesday who will be doing our banisters and our stairs basically but these are now primed so tonight we need to do the first coat tonight's a Sunday and then tomorrow we do the second coat tomorrow's Monday so it's all dry and ready for him to come on Tuesday all of these as well which were the ones that we forgot to prime or just didn't prime these need a second coat too so the beginning of this week is just gonna be painting and painting and painting away but now I've got my new knack of doing that or my new technique. It's honestly not that hard, so let's get cracking. And then after we're done here, I'll show you what we're gonna be focusing on towards the end of this week, which I am so excited for. Sorry, that was very intense. I'm very hungover. Also, you probably saw this yesterday, but what I do love about the sitting down and painting tasks are 
You can just so easily watch TV at the same time, so it's basically like chilling. Team plan at the moment, Tom is going onto the spindles and doing just the uh, bits with the recess. The bits that are a little bit harder to get to with the sponge. And then I'm taking the one he's just done and going over it with the sponge. I don't know why I'm calling it a sponge, that thing there. The roller. The roller, paint roller. <laughs> paint roller. And uh, yeah, just finishing those up. And we're being pretty damn rapid. We're on number five and we've been doing this for exactly, how would I know, about 10 minutes. So yeah, half the time it took me yesterday. It massively helped having a show on to watch. Tom was not looking forward to doing this job, but I think now um, he sees we get to chill out and watch TV, he's swayed. Yeah, I kind of wish we did this during the day so when we were yeah, we, sat we've wasted a lot of time. Okay, 45 minutes later, we've done all of them. Uh, did the 16 that I painted yesterday, and then we've also done all of the ones that were in here. So I think 36 in total, and then these side ones, or big ones as well. I don't know what they're called. However, if you saw the last time I painted with this black paint, which was when we painted the window downstairs, you might have heard my debacle about having the black paint stuck on me for close to a week. And uh, I've done it again. So I've got a lot of scrubbing coming up this evening. It's the next evening and I could literally cry with happiness. We are not going to need to do a third coat. It is perfect. So now all we've got to do is sleep. And tomorrow the carpenter will be here to install all of the spindles. I'm so excited. We do have one minor issue though, and that's that the handrail still hasn't been delivered. It was meant to be delivered today. Tom's been on the phone with them, well, trying to get a hold of them all day. And he eventually did get a hold of them this afternoon. They very kindly have booked one of their own drivers for an afternoon slot, so that will, a replacement will be delivered to our house tomorrow afternoon so yeah we need to work out with the carpenter's timings how that's going to work we're waiting for him to get back to us but we will see and in case i haven't told you that already apologies there were two parcels they both got lost in transit this one randomly turned up and the other one's nowhere to be found so the other one was the handrail we need that handrail to get the carpenter you know the knock-on effect right i've spoken you through it a thousand times but uh yeah just gotta wait for that tomorrow afternoon uh potentially the carpenter will be coming the day after but we'll see, we'll see what he says. So we're getting the handrails installed today. And I think we're gonna be in safer hands because yeah, compared to our last carpenter, this guy's got everything. The carpenter last time hardly had any of this. So got all the equipment, fingers crossed he's good, but I do have a lot of faith in him. So the new carpenter's been here for two days and I'm very happy to report that we love him, he's amazing. You know how they say with relationships you gotta go through some bad ones to find the one? This is us and our carpenter. Maybe that was extreme, but we love him. So he's now been here for two days, just kind of making his way through the stairs. He's done, I think, a lot. I don't know how long stairs usually take, but he's brilliant. Uh, the work looks really, really good, and we're starting to see it come together, and we just love it so, so much. Out of interest, Tom just did some measurements, and it's just like, Every spindle is equal height, they're all equal distance apart, it's basically just perfect and we're really, really happy with it. And here we are, the final job! The beautiful handiwork of our favourite guy ever. Basically, there were a couple of times today where we discovered we didn't quite have the materials we needed. Um, as you can see, he's used an architrave down here to give this a really nice finish. You can also see that some stuff we had painted black and some we hadn't due to missing parcels and just general laziness. So, yeah, we've still got to paint the well, prime and paint this, prime and paint this, prime and paint this. This is going to stay white. Um, it's just primed, not painted yet. So we've got to paint that. And then, as you can see over here, uh, we kept these, what are they called? posts, newel posts, but they're kind of still mid paint strip. So got to get the heat gun on these two, uh, that one there and this one here, and then yeah, prime them, paint them black to match the rest. But I mean, obviously it's not perfect because it's not finished, but it's just so beautiful to have a staircase and it feels 
yeah, it feels good. So the white paint we've done the whole house with, you know, we just did a pure cotton, uh, it's like a Wix trait paint, but I must admit, now we're getting the blacks and a bit more of the neutral tones in, I'm feeling like this white is way too cool. This was always intended just as a base coat and a first coat, so we can go over with another white with just one coat. But yeah, I think I'm going to be getting something a little bit warmer uh, to paint the house with. It's just going to be such a big job to do all of this again, but uh, I knew it was coming, and that's fine. Let me take you upstairs for the final bit. I don't know if you can see up there again. All done. Really, really happy with how it's turned out, his quality of work. He kept checking in to see if we were um, happy, or but like before he made certain decisions about where to cut certain stuff, kept checking with us, which is obviously a beautiful bit of working from home. But um, yeah, I love it so much. So when we first started looking at a carpenter or a new carpenter, a replacement carpenter, we were kind of taken aback by the pricing, particularly for installing banisters. Uh, we contacted a whole bunch of people and the pricing was from about 1,200 to 2,000 pounds for two to three days work. Now I'm not saying obviously the people that were quoting us weren't worth it, but we were just quite taken aback by the price considering obviously we're providing all the materials and everything. Whereas this guy is probably going to come in at less than half of that, so five to six hundred pounds. So yeah, very safe to say we took yet another risk on a cheap carpenter. Uh, but this time it paid off and we're really, really happy. And the reason I wanted to say this was because we got talking to him and he's not got very much work going on at the time. I think he had a job as a carpenter for a company, uh, which he no longer has. So if you do have a bit of carpentry that needs doing in your house and you live in London, particularly if you live in East London, please do find me on Instagram. It's Feed by Autumn as well. And drop me a message because I'd love to give you his details. Uh, yeah, I'd love for him to start getting some bookings in. Um, so yeah, if you need any carpentry done, please drop me a message. I'd be more than happy to share his details. It also feels great to know that we've got someone that we trust and we love now because it just means that so much more can happen. We're going to use him for installing our kitchen. Uh, he'll be building the cupboard under the stairs when he's done with this stuff. And he'll be doing all of the remaining doors, architraves and skirting boards across the entire house and all of the coving downstairs because we're also getting coving downstairs. We don't have it anywhere upstairs, but we're getting it downstairs and ceiling roses. Yeah, there's tons of stuff we're going to need him for. So, we're happy. It feels like a lot of the carpentry stuff will now be super easy to do because we've got a great guy and we can get cracking on with other jobs, which let's do now. And also now that we've got a carpenter, a plasterer and a Martin, I think we're ready to start a property empire. As soon as this house is done, we're on to the next. I don't mean that. This is incredibly stressful. And now a job that I have been excited for for such a long time. So obviously we don't film everything. And in the background, Tom has been running all over London, running all over East London, picking up secondhand IKEA packs wardrobes. Now in a previous video, I did explain I will never ever buy new wardrobes, particularly IKEA packs. They're all over eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And you can pick them up super cheap and they're great, right? You can get spares from Ikea, you can customize them. So now we have a whole bunch of wardrobes, which is super exciting. And it means that we can start putting them together because we need a wardrobe, a bigger wardrobe so, so badly. So this will be really good. Now I will be customizing them or giving them a little bit of a spruce up in another video, but just some storage for now will be good. Now we don't have carpets in here yet. Uh, we're going for the kind of built-in look, so we're going to be building the wardrobes and then doing MDF all around them. I'm going to have a whole video on it and I will be customising the doors and everything, but that is the reason that we're installing them before we have carpets, just in case you're wondering. Okay, we've pretty much got one of the wardrobes up now. We're just measuring because there is this plug socket behind the wardrobe. So we just want to understand where it is situated so we know where to cut out on uh, the backboard of this. 
And that's it, we've got two wardrobes up so far. We are going to buy the exact same thing, two drawers for that one there. They're just so good for stuff like pajamas, jumpers, hoodies, you know, comfy clothes that you don't mind kind of bundling all together or you'd probably fold it if you weren't lazy like me. We are actually going to have um, a 50 centimeter one which is a mirror in the middle of those two over there and then this one's gonna be shifted over there there'll be the PAX mirror door there and then two double doors over here and here that match. So that's the plan in here. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but we've just got the, I'll find the name of these, just the really standard PAX wardrobe doors with the four panels. Obviously changing out all of the handles, going to actually be painting these doors um, and painting the whole room as well as the doors to get like a really seamless uh, finish. So they'll all be the same color. And I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of weeks. Today, I don't actually know what date it is, but on Friday, I finish work for two weeks. So I'm off right up until the new year. And although I am going home to see family for I think four of those days, I will be at the house for the majority of the time. Obviously, we'd love to spend more time with family, but just for this year, that time is so precious or any kind of annual leave is so precious. And it's very, very rare we get you know, a solid chunk of time to work on the house. So I am going to get back to London pretty swiftly after Christmas, uh, which is a shame, but it's just one more year. We're certainly not going to be renovating into next year. So basically what I was trying to say there is that I will be having two weeks off and we have a ton of different jobs to do. So I'm going to be completely finishing all of the stairs, stripping the old paint, priming and painting the rest black, just getting those completely done. We're going to be finalizing and ordering carpets, going to be upcycling this, the carpet's going to be laid, I'm going to do a bit of a dressing room and bedroom makeover, there's, yeah, we basically have tons and tons of stuff to do. And then at the end of January, the kitchen doors arrive, so once the kitchen doors are in, uh, the kitchen will come a couple of weeks after that, that will get fitted, so yeah, I mean, December, January, February, March are going to be incredibly busy months, but loads of renovating to do, and I'm super, super excited for how quickly this is all going to come together. And that's, I think, a pretty natural ending. Thanks for spending probably 15 minutes watching me talk about banisters, but obviously really appreciate everyone who tunes in every week, as well as people who join new. If you would like to follow along, please do hit the subscribe button. We upload videos every single Wednesday. And if you have enjoyed following the journey so far, please give this video a like. It really helps boost the channel. And that is me. I am done talking at you for another week. Uh, thank you as always for watching. I really look forward to next Wednesday. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.